What's happening there guys and welcome back to another great video on our channel. British composer and musician James Wrighton and actress Kira Knightley, the couple who had been dating since 2011, were married back in May of 2013, but there's more to the story than we might know of. So let's find out the truth about Kira Knightley's husband. Number 6. Avoiding the Media Kira Knightley, an Oscar contender and actress of Pride and Prejudice, likes to avoid the media these days, but things were not always that way. The British beauty was stalked by the paparazzi, who followed her every step when she initially entered the profession with star-making performances in Bend It Like Beckham, Love Actually, and the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Number 5. What's Known About James Wrighton, the Spouse of Kira Knightley Kira Knightley and James Wrighton allegedly reside in their North London neighborhood. Wrighton was born on August 25, 1983 in Stratford-Avon, England. According to the reports, the 38-year-old began teaching music immediately after receiving his high school diploma. James Wrighton founded Claxons in 2005 alongside Jamie Reynolds and Simon Taylor Davis. Wrighton played the keyboard for the group. Myths of the Near Future 2007, Surfing the Void 2010, and Love Frequency 2014 are the three albums released by Claxons. After their debut, the band has seen great success, particularly since the publication of their first album in 2007. In 2014, Wrighton and the other participants broke up. Number 4. Mental Breakdowns she said to The Telegraph in 2019 that the worth of images of any prominent young ladies at the time significantly raised if they were of a highly negative kind. Therefore, if you weren't already experiencing a mental breakdown, they were attempting to persuade you to do things that would maintain your worth at a similar level to those who were. She vanished for a year when photographers in Kentish Town pulled her vehicle off the road. In 2018, Knightley said on the Award Shatter podcast of The Hollywood Reporter, I did suffer a mental breakdown at 22. I did take a year off there and was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder because of all those things. A year later, she felt better and very terrific when she went back to work. That's presumably how the imitation game actor has kept her marriage and personal life discreet. Number 3. Little is Known it makes sense that most people in Hollywood don't even know the name of Knightley's spouse, despite the fact that people gush over the relationship ups and downs of the Kardashians, the Jolie Pitts, and every pair from the Bachelor series. Wrighton is actually really successful in the entertainment role in his own right, believe it or not. According to sources, Atonement actress Kira Knightley wed James Wrighton, the keyboardist for the British dance punk band Claxons, in 2013. According to CBT News, the highly regarded band The Claxons previously defeated well-known acts like Amy Winehouse and Arctic Monkeys to win the prestigious Mercury Prize back in 2007. They had two major songs that topped the charts in 2007, including Golden Scans and It's Not Over Yet. In keeping with his usual behavior, Knightley was exceedingly silent as word spread that he had proposed. She would only see to Eye Village in 2012, he did it really well. The pair was married in Mazan, France the following year, according to Daily Mail. Number 2. Supporting Kira Knightley claims that her husband's salary doesn't compare to hers and that he isn't in the least bit scared by her accomplishment despite Claxon's critical and financial success. In 2020, she told Porter, That's what our national media are teaching girls, that you have to feel bad about performing well if it makes a guy feel uncomfortable, which it doesn't with my husband and it doesn't with my dad either. Wrighton likes the home life, according to Knightley, especially the couple's two children, Edie and Delilah. Wrighton is very intense, slightly OCD, it's what makes him a really wonderful chef, she told Harper's Bazaar in 2021. We're happy to see that, since Knightley was seeing guys who were intimidated by her fame not too long ago. Number 1. Ex-boyfriends of Kira Knightley weren't as encouraging. Kira Knightley was involved in two high-profile marriages before she wed James Wrighton. First up was Fifty Shades of Grey actor Jamie Dornan, who is still a struggling model and unsure of his degree of popularity at the time of their romance between 2003 to 2005, according to InStyle. When dating someone like Kira, there's a lot of pressure, as Dornan said to Mail on Sunday in 2006. You could feel a little inferior. It's not as if I brought the bread to the table. This might start to have an impact on everything. 
as a result of Dornan's belief that males should be the alpha in the relationship on the money and power front, he felt the need to be dominant in other areas, which eventually led to strife. Rupert Friend, who had appeared with her in Pride and Prejudice, arrived next. The pair had been together for five years in secret, but it was later discovered that he couldn't stand having a partner in the limelight. According to a source close to the ex-couple, Rupert despises the thought of being seen and taken a picture of. Kira was forced to accept it, in part because of her growing notoriety. Both of them decided to part ways since the strain had taken its toll. Friend continued to malign Knightley years after their split when, in 2018, he sent a thumbs down emoji in response to a Twitter fan account that shared all flashback photos of the duo. So let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and until the next one, take care and goodbye.